Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Gia Karanji. Gia was a very popular supermodel in the late 1970s and early 1980s and she is often referred to as the first supermodel. With her dark hair and kind of easygoing looks, she was very different from the kind of blonde standard models that were popular in that time. So she was very unique in her looks, but not just that, she was a very good and innovative model. She is the one who actually set the standard for how girls model nowadays and what we view as good modeling nowadays with her very unorthodox poses. She brought a lot of creativity into posing for photos. So I guess you could say that she kind of laid the base for modern modeling in a way. Now in her personal life, Chia unfortunately had a really big drug problem throughout all her life. She is also often referred to as the first person to kind of introduce the heroin chic look that was very popular in the 90s later on. She used a lot of cocaine and later on heroin and she did that on shoots as well. Now because she was so successful and um, in demand she could afford to do that even on set for a very long time until things really got out of hand and she kind of stopped getting jobs. Now her death was pretty tragic as well because she contracted AIDS um, and then died of complications related to that at the very young age of 26 years. So even though she passed away really young and tragically we still have loads of photographs of her to look back on and she has been a great inspiration for many models. So today I am going to try and recreate her iconic look. So I'm gonna do hair and makeup and I went for a little bit more of an 80s look so it's a bit of a later Gia look. So let's get started with the makeup straight away. I'm gonna start with a layer of foundation all over my skin. I'm gonna apply quite a thick layer. I want this to be full coverage for that supermodel perfect skin. So after that I'm gonna go over with a layer of concealer to cover up my dark circles. And when everything is blended in I'm going to go over this with a layer of translucent powder to set everything and mattify my face. Now, of course, these are the 80s we're talking about, so eyebrows were nice and full and prominent and natural. So I am going to take this uh, Gimme Brow Plus by Benefit, which has little fibers in it. And I'm going to use this to really build on my own eyebrows and create a nice, natural looking full brow without drawing it in. All right, so moving on to the eyelids. Now, I'm going to start by applying a eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion here. And then I'm going to go in with a cream colored eyeshadow. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I'm going to apply this just underneath my eyebrows, on my brow bone. And then in true 80s fashion, I'm going to go in with a brown eyeshadow that I'm going to apply nearly up to my eyebrows. So I'm going to really blend that out. I'm using a fluffy brush and just blending this all over my eyelids and then almost up to my eyebrows. So when that is done on both sides, I am going to take a black eyeliner, a pencil eyeliner. And I'm going to tight line both my top and bottom lids. And then also just slightly line underneath my eyelashes and above them as well. I'm going to take a smudging brush and smudge all of this out for that really smoldery look. Then when I've done that, I'm going to go over with a layer of mascara, just a little bit. And then I'm moving on to the lips. So for lips, I'm going to use a color that is kind of still natural looking, but still definitely a little bit darker than my natural lip color. And then for my cheeks, I am going to take a pink blusher and I'm going to apply this in a very 80s way right on top of my cheekbones, pretty high and pretty strongly as well. All right, so there's the makeup already done. Now moving on to the hair. I feel like Gia's natural hair was curly. You can often see her in photos with a very kind of big, massive, um, natural looking curls. So I'm gonna try and recreate something that kind of looks similar to that. So to do that, I'm going to first start by spraying my hair with a heat protector, because I am going to curl it. And then I'm gonna go over that with a sea salt spray to give a little bit more volume and texture to my hair. I'm going to take this strange looking curling iron and I'm hoping that this will help me create a little bit of a messy kind of irregular curl that's gonna make it a little bit bigger and more natural looking and messier obviously. So I'm gonna split my hair into two sections, start on the bottom and wrap my hair around this curling iron. I'm gonna alternate directions. So I'm gonna curl one curl away from my face and the other one towards my face. And I'm kind of going to take smaller and bigger sections as well. Just make loads of kind of varying curls. So when I've done all of my hair, it should look something like this. So I'm gonna start by separating out these curls, kind of running my hands through them. And then I'm gonna take a brush and just brush this through for that really big, fluffy 80s hair look. So then all there's left to do is just flip this over to one side and there is your Gia Karanji hair all done. And that's the finished look. 
I think Gia had that perfect natural beauty kind of girl next door but absolutely gorgeous look and I feel like this look works with that really well so I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty Beacons guys. If there are any historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of please feel free to leave a request in the comments below I will look through pick someone out for next time. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more episodes. If you'd like to support me on Patreon there will be a link in the description box below thank you so much. There is another video here that you may also enjoy you can go watch that next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!